Um, so my hope is that in the coming month, uh, we will learn much more as uh, 3 i Atlas gets closer to the sun. It will be illuminated. It will get brighter. Astronomers tracking 3i Atlas say it has altered its course, worrying scientists about its close proximity to Earth. In fact, in the past, humanity has worried about existential threats from artificial intelligence, from climate change, or from an asteroid impact. But there is another item that we should add to the list one that is both exhilarating and unsettling, alien technology. What if the next cosmic visitor we discover isn't just a rock? 3i Atlas is racing toward the sun right now, and scientists are puzzled. Its speed outpaces anything we can launch. Its path looks strangely intentional, and its glow defies simple classification. At first glance, it would be easy to dismiss 3i Atlas as just another comet, one more icy vagabond falling in toward the sun. NASA officially adopted that label, since comets are known for bright appearances and long looping trajectories. But to others, including Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, the designation feels too convenient. The data don't line up neatly with what scientists expect from a normal comet. This leaves 3i Atlas suspended between categories, an object that refuses to wear the labels astronomy has relied on for centuries. Is it a natural relic of another star system or something more deliberate, something designed? Part of the fascination comes from its size. If the glow is indeed sunlight reflecting from a solid surface, the object could be up to 20 kilometers across, larger than Manhattan, far larger than any interstellar visitor humans have seen before. That scale places 3i Atlas in an entirely different class. For decades, astronomers assumed that the vast gulfs of interstellar space were nearly empty, with only the occasional small fragment drifting free. To suddenly find an object so immense challenges not only our expectations, but the models of how planetary systems shed their debris. It is as if we set out to find a single grain of sand and instead stumbled upon a mountain. That improbability alone raises questions. Simulations of solar system formation predict that most fragments ejected into the galaxy should be small, battered remnants of larger bodies. Objects the size of 3i Atlas, tens of kilometers wide, should be exceedingly rare. To encounter one so soon after we have only just begun watching for interstellar visitors seems almost implausible. The odds feel stacked against such a discovery, and yet, here it is, glowing in our skies. The glow itself has become another layer of mystery. Normally, comets shine because frozen material on their surfaces vaporize as they approach the sun, creating jets of gas and dust that fan out into sweeping tails. That image has defined comets for centuries, a glowing core with a magnificent plume of vapor stretching across the heavens. But when the Hubble Space Telescope observed 3i Atlas, it didn't see a tail. Instead, it recorded a sharp, concentrated point of light, brighter than expected, yet eerily compact. This behavior doesn't match the playbook. A comet without a tail should not shine so brightly, while an asteroid reflecting sunlight should not glow with such intensity. The signal is inconsistent, too bright in some respects, and not active enough in others. It is as though the laws that govern ordinary celestial bodies bend when applied to this traveler. Imagine shining a flashlight on a snowball and seeing it flare like a spotlight. The mismatch between cause and effect is at the heart of 3i Atlas's enigma. Even more compelling is the way 3i Atlas moves. Our solar system is structured like a flat disk, with planets orbiting the sun in nearly the same plane, like grooves on a record. Interstellar objects typically arrive from random directions, their pads tilted at steep angles, cutting across the solar system like darts thrown across a board. 3i Atlas is different. It hugs the solar plane with uncanny precision, aligned within just five degrees of the planetary track. On its own, this detail might be dismissed as coincidence. With enough random trajectories, one or two will inevitably line up. But astronomers are wary of coincidences when the odds are low. 
and this is only the beginning. 3i Atlas doesn't just align with the planetary disk, it also moves in the opposite direction. Every planet, asteroid, and nearly every comet bound to the sun travels one way around our star. 3i Atlas, however, barrels through against the flow. It is retrograde, defying the prevailing current that has endured for billions of years. This combination, tight alignment with the planetary plane coupled with retrograde motion, creates a picture that feels less like chance and more like intention. Imagine standing by a river and watching leaves drift smoothly downstream, only to notice a single boat powering upstream. That lone vessel draws your attention, not just because it is moving, but because it is moving in a way that seems chosen. That is how 3i Atlas appears, a solitary traveler charting a course that defies the ordinary. Speed adds another twist. 3i Atlas is traveling at an astonishing 41 miles per second, about 66 kilometers per second. That's more than double the record of the fastest spacecraft humanity has ever constructed. NASA's Parker Solar Probe, a marvel of engineering, reaches speeds just over 19 miles per second at its peak. 3i Atlas leaves even our boldest creations far behind, and yet it shows no evidence of propulsion. No thrusters, no exhaust plumes, no sails catching the solar wind, just raw, unaccountable velocity. This pace isn't merely an impressive statistic. It has practical consequences for how astronomers can study the object. Fast bodies are difficult targets. They streak through telescope fields quickly, offering only narrow windows for observation. Every bit of data becomes a race against time. Trying to study 3i Atlas is like attempting to photograph a hummingbird in mid-flight using a camera with a sluggish shutter. The object's brightness makes it visible, but its speed makes it elusive. The speed also prompts deeper questions. What force set it moving at such a rate? Planetary systems can indeed sling bodies into space through gravitational encounters, but there are limits to the speeds those processes can generate. 3i Atlas seems to be moving beyond those limits, hinting at either an exceptional set of circumstances or some additional factor. If natural, it may reveal processes we have not yet considered. If not, it edges closer to the speculative possibility of propulsion. That is where the concept of non-gravitational acceleration becomes critical. When astronomers track an object's orbit, they calculate its path based on gravity alone. If the object deviates slightly, something else is at play. For ordinary comets, such deviations often come from jets of vapor acting like miniature thrusters but 3i Atlas shows little evidence of this kind of activity. If its path does shift, scientists will have to confront the question of what caused it. Was it a hidden physical process or something that points to control? Telescopes around the globe are locked onto this puzzle. Teams of astronomers are carefully tracking 3i Atlas, searching for the tiniest deviations in speed or direction. Even a minute discrepancy could change the story dramatically. For now, the data show no definitive signs of propulsion, no glowing exhaust, no technological signature. But the alignment, the retrograde orbit, the brightness, and the speed all conspire to keep the conversation alive. Even stripped of speculation, 3i Atlas forces science to reconsider its assumptions. For centuries, the space between stars was thought to be nearly empty, with only rare fragments wandering across the vast gulfs. The appearance of an object this large, this bright, and this fast suggests the cosmos may be more crowded than we realized. It could be that interstellar space is filled with more travelers than our models predict, and that we are only now developing the tools sensitive enough to notice them. Yet the possibility of something more lingers in the background, precisely because 3i Atlas is so anomalous. Science thrives on outliers, on the data points that refuse to fit the curve. 3i Atlas is a collection of outliers bundled into one, too large to be dismissed, too bright to be ordinary, too well aligned to feel random, and too fast to explain comfortably. Each trait alone might be puzzling but manageable. Together, they create a mystery that resists easy filing. The suspense will not last forever. 
By December 2025, 3i Atlas will pass Mars, offering astronomers their best chance yet to capture detailed observations. The world's most powerful telescopes will be watching, eager to unravel the truth. The object may turn out to be a colossal comet, a peculiar asteroid, or something that forces a revision of our models. Or, perhaps more provocatively, it may continue to resist categorization, remaining a visitor that hints at possibilities beyond the natural. Until then, 3i Atlas remains a cosmic riddle. It is a body whose size, path, and speed place it among the most extraordinary visitors ever to enter our solar system. Whether it ultimately proves natural or artificial, it has already succeeded in expanding the boundaries of our imagination. In its glow and in its motion, it asks us to reconsider what we know about the universe and what we dare to believe might be out there.